We should all be recording now. Good day. Yeah. So it's been a very long time since I have um, done a video for this. Um, but summer's getting crazily close, close, and I thought I'd. Uh, I told myself that I'd get it done by um, summer, and uh, I think I probably need to get my uh, arse into gear. Probably not going to be finished, as in finished job. Uh, but hey, I want to get it road legal, so I can at least start riding it. Last time oh, we were working on it, um, we were sorting out the brakes. I haven't done anything since then. Yeah, we, we haven't fixed the brakes, they're still broken, so uh, that's a bit of a bummer. But what I am going to do, obviously I still want to make some progress, I'm going to be uh, making a new sort of, um, I want to make like a, a, a box for all my bits and pieces here. Uh, a nice bit of a sort of, you know, your, your sheet metal here, as you can see. And um, maybe if, if I can as well make a... A, uh, just a plate for the, where the seat can sit on. So I'm going to get rid of all, the, all of this because this has been put on by somebody else. Um, I'm, it's not really the look I'm looking for. Uh, I want to sort of follow the frame here with my seat. So first things first is um, I'm just going to start disassembling it I guess. Um, so we'll start with sort of taking off the, uh, the tail light assembly and such and then get into here. Um, I guess I'll just undo it as I need to. There's some sort of hidden screws in places where I wouldn't have expected and man I'm not going to be able to remember where these wires go. Um, I think that's going to be, I might, I might sod that off to Halden because <laughs> he's pretty good at that sort of stuff. But um, yeah I guess uh, we'll go from there. And yeah I'm wearing a GoPro I think. You know it's just it's a cool sort of idea to try and uh, get everything. Um, it's a cool little thing I don't know if you can see it there's like a little spider mount up there. So. Um, yeah, anyway, that's sort of us. Uh, I bought this desk, which is kind of cool, like this bench, uh, and I've scored an air compressor, um, except it's poked. It needs to be sort of put together. Um, so uh, we'll have to do that another time, but I don't need it, so not yet anyway. So we'll start with what we can start with, but we'll need a screwdriver. And also, I just, I've been sick of not being able to do anything because I haven't had a workspace, so I've, I've put all this together. It's pretty limited. Um, you know, work in progress. Uh, we've been looking for a house, and so I've sort of put everything off because I've been wanting to buy a garage, but the uh, market's quite cutthroat, so I don't know what the chances are of that actually happening. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in the right angle, so I'll just point that down a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. So, that's that. Alright, so there's those. So we've got the license plate off. Easy. The easiest part, I probably think. Um, what do we got down here? We got some screws. I went and did the distinguished gentleman's ride the other day with Halden on my old bike, uh, my best friend's bike. I'd sold it to him, and I went and did the distinguished gentleman's ride, or wanted to anyway. And um, halfway there, the license plate flew off, and the tail tail light flew off. Um, because my mate hadn't put it on solid enough. I don't know, he, he claims he had, and I don't disagree with him, but there's just a couple of things. There's like a piece of rubber in there that had um, made it a little bit weak. I'm not going to be able to remember where these plugs go. Hopefully they haven't sort of been crimped. No, they come out pretty easily. So yeah, so there's a tail light. It's quite a nice tail light too. I reckon what I could do is maybe unmount this from the license plate bracket. I'm not sure what the chances of me being able to use the um, the original license plate are, but we'll unmount that and then maybe I could potentially fit it under that guard there. I reckon that would look quite quite cool. Make an underneath bracket there. It sits underneath underneath there. And then boom. Where do we go? So it looks like that bolt's gonna have to come out here. Looks like that's going to have to come out as well. And the good thing about this is I get to start using some sockets that I've been gifted. And uh, good old Heldon gave me his ratchet. It's quite a nice ratchet. It's got, you see the feel that? So many sort of spots of where it can spin, whereas this one's a lot less. You know? 
Whereas that one's nice. Alright, undo this bastard. There's probably a bolt underneath spinning. What have we got? Alright, so that's out. Shit. Oh! Look at that. Just made myself bleed. Right. That'll stop the bleeding at least. There's that. Um, sand that down. So it doesn't happen again. little pliers, cheap little mitre 10 pliers, one, two, three, four, so there's that, so that, that's kind of what I want to make, but maybe a little bit better, that goes in the bin, so it actually there we go, it's just a small little get it on the right orientation and it comes out. That also has got like a sharp bit on the inside of this guard here. There's like a couple sharp bits there. Another couple things for me to cut my fingers on. A swig of coffee. We're running out of milk so it's quite brown. So that should be able to sort of slide through. Hopefully without damaging anything. Cool. Who knows what that cable does? No idea. So I'm just going to do this. Just sort of, or if I put it all through the hole, then it gives me more of a, a space to work. A little flasher and the regulator, re regulator rectifier all through here. And we'll just sit it down on this bit here. Um, I'm going to have to make a battery holder as well. I wonder if I buy a new battery, something that might sit underneath. I'll just sit it and have it nice and sort of, maybe, secret. And you can't see it. I it'll be quite cool. We should be able to get into doing this um, tray now. I think the amount of stuff we've got, it's probably best that I put the tray in here. I reckon if I use these mounts here, I could potentially just build like a little box that may sort of just come up and follow the frame here. So it'll need to come, it'll be flat, and come up on an angle and then flat again. And then maybe just come straight up and lock into that. See the plug, a lot of the plugs can come through here. So if we put them up through, maybe hug the bottom of this bit here, made a little channel for them can come through here. I reckon that might be the way to do it. Let's see how this tank's held on. Um, what are we doing? It looks like a 12, maybe a 14. We'll try 12. All right, it might be a 13 or a 14. That's a 14 and it's too soft. 13 perfect. that kind of goes in here see you got two little screws here and a flat piece so I reckon I could put like a flat piece of sheet just under here that might be a little bit concave that I can hide nicely under here something that drops about I don't know two centimeters not even that follows that and then comes straight up and then gets held into there I reckon that would be a good little little nice little thing and let's get onto it eh so I got some some cardboard cool all right
now there we go so kind of got like a nice little tray and I believe I've made it a little bit too big because of the contour of the pipe the the diameter of the pipe that's in there so I've kind of so it'll have to sit in closer here but I don't know little little tweaks Let's see if that's more of the idea yeah I may have taken a little bit too much off but yeah and you can sort of see it's got a nice little compartment in here for sort of cables to sneak up into this here maybe make a couple of holes here cables can sneak up in then yeah a couple of holes in here to send the wires through into my main box that I'll now put together uh, so I'm gonna have to mock this guard in there in order to get a good idea as to where as far as I can go just so it sits loosely where it's gonna be And that is going to be our box. There we go. Cool. That was a mission to do up, but that's a small part of it. There. So, there's my box there. But effectively, there we go. So that's my new sort of tray mechanism. Now, I'm made it out of cardboard. And I can hold my, my gears and stuff underneath the seat here, you know, or part of the seat or whatever. Have all my... Um, regulator rectifier you know come from this side cables come through the frame here and then, then all the bits and pieces down here and then a couple of holes in there to send up for the tail light and and so on and so forth and i think that will come out all right and if you look at it sort of on the flat you can't if i move the camera like that hopefully you can see you can't it, it, it's hidden you know it's gives you the illusion there's nothing there but we'll leave it there. Cheers for that. Cheers for watching. It's really dark. Uh, yeah. Cheers for watching. Um, next time I will be actually making it out of the aluminium sheet. And hopefully it comes out alright. We'll be ribbing that together in my intention. And uh, yeah. Cheers. See you next time.